Does your metabolism suck? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Do you want off the diet roller coaster? Do you wish there was a simple solution to get you healthier, smaller, and have more energy? Hi friends, I'm Jolene, a nutritional therapy practitioner, a wife, a furry gardener, and non-bendy yogi. Like you, I spent years chasing skinny instead of health, until I finally learned there was more to getting healthy and smaller than just eating less and moving more. Welcome to Holistic Health Made Simple Podcast, where I share all the tips, tricks, and science to set you free from the overwhelm of diet culture and the frustration with the ever-changing health rules. I go beyond the calorie and diet dogma to equip you to be healthy through simple changes to real food, mindset, and lifestyle. Are you ready to learn how to tailor your journey to you and your current health for solutions that are broken down into simple steps to make it easier to implement? Results that are undeniable, like more energy, improved mood, better sleep, and fat loss? This is the podcast for you. Pop in those headphones, take a deep breath, and let's get healthy. Hey, hey there. Are you ready to transform your health? Well, of course you are. That's why you're here. What if I told you you could start by adding one salad at a time? Let's uncover some of the surprising benefits of adding a daily dose of leafy goodness to your plate. Get ready to discover the secret recipe to a healthier, happier you. Let's dive in. As I was preparing for this, because I'm trying to give you more tactical, smaller tips in each episode, rather than these big general ones like I discussed um, last time around, salads. Salads are simple. We all can add a little salad or leafy greens to our meal. It's not that difficult. But as I was preparing, I was shocked at the amount of studies involving just the leafy green aspect of it, not general fruits and vegetables, but leafy greens. The benefits of simply adding some leafy greens to your meal are huge. One, it reduces the risk of cognitive decline, especially as we age. So as we get older, adding in these leafy greens will help our memory and cognitively be healthier overall. So, you know, let's let's try to fight off the whole dementia thing. So add in some leafy greens. It's that simple. It lowers inflammation. There was a whopping, this is huge now, 40% reduction in death from rectal cancer by simply adding in salads daily. I mean, this is huge. It improves triglyceride. It helps with your blood sugar control. Well, we talked about that in the glucose spike episode. Eating leafy greens year long, not just in season, but all year long, can decrease the risk of type 2 diabetes. That's beyond blood sugar control. It also reduces the risk of coronary artery disease and can overall reduce your consumption if you're trying to do some sort of weight management. And there is a current study that has actually pinpointed a certain sugar that is produced by leafy greens And it's found the mechanism on how it feeds good bacteria to help populate that. And this good bacteria then helps control the populations of bad bacteria. So these leafy greens will lead to a healthy gut. We kind of have heard this over and over again, but we didn't understand the mechanisms. And now they've actually found the mechanisms of why leafy greens are so healthy to the gut. So besides all these benefits that we're seeing from these studies, we also know that they're very rich in phytonutrients, which is important because we need all these minerals and vitamins from sources. We can't manufacture minerals in our body. So let's look at how we can actually incorporate a salad or what we mean by incorporating leafy greens. So now let's brainstorm ways of adding in salads a day. And I do mean a day. You should have some sort of leafy green salad-ish thing, and we'll go into what that means in a minute, most days. This is not necessarily something you do in the summertime and not in the wintertime. The benefits shown by the studies were people who are having them most days of the year. So let's start thinking that way. We are all very familiar with the basic lettuce salad. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, maybe some little bit of carrots on top and dressing. That's awesome. But let's find some other ways to add these leafy greens in and a more a, a wider variety of leafy greens. Let's start with cruciferous vegetable family. It's got things like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower. That all can add a little crunch, slightly cooked or just marinated in a citrus or vinegar base will 
slightly cook it down, keep the crunch, but add lots of flavor to your lettuce, like spinach, iceberg, romaine, you know, I already said that. What about radicchio? Adds a little bit of bitterness to your salad, which is very delicious. A watercress, herbs. Herbs are technically a leafy green. Think carrot tops even. People love to eat the carrot greens. Um, I actually have never tried it, but they say it's quite tasty in a salad. So think of things like maybe you like basil and add a quarter cup of basil to your salad or parsley, mint. Then there's the Swiss chard, which has leafy greens. You also have a broccoli rub, which is a green. Those are all different greens other than lettuce. They can be cooked, they can be raw, they can be a combination of them all. So how exactly do you get it so that you enjoy this salad a day thing? How you enjoy upping your leafy greens? Instead of looking at them as things that you have to eat alone, how can we spruce them up? Like I point out in a build a plate episode or in any of my handouts on building plates, we always start with the protein. Well, in this case, we're gonna start with the green. You're gonna pick your leafy green. And you're gonna decide if you want it cooked or raw or a combination. Maybe you've picked a handful of different kinds. Cook what you need to cook. Make sure you cook it in a healthy fat. Put it all together as the base because your leafy greens are very low in calories, so you don't need to worry about it. Take as much as you want, two, three cups, whatever. Put it as your base. From there, pick your star, which is your protein. Find chicken breast, beef, fish, whatever it is, add that on top. And from there, add seeds and nuts and cheese and a healthy dressing and maybe some other vegetables like cucumbers and tomatoes, celery, uh, carrots, anything you want. Build that into an entire meal. There is no reason why you have to eat a plain, boring lettuce salad. Well, if you enjoy it, go for it. But if not, Spruce it up, add some other things to it to make it delicious for you. Make it into a meal. A couple great ways to incorporate greens. Get some arugula, drizzle some olive oil on top, a little bit of salt, cook your uh, beef, like a steak or a roast. Put the bed of arugula down and then put the roast or your steak on top of it and let the juices and the heat from the meat kind of wilt it. It's delicious. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Try that. Another great vegetable wilted is spinach. Saute some bacon and some olive oil on the side with some maybe some onions or whatever you like as a seasoning and drizzle it over the hot. Use the hot dressing over the spinach and it'll just slightly wilt it. And then add your chicken or shrimp or whatever else you want to add as a protein. Think outside the box. These vegetables can be cooked or raw, as long as they're leafy, and it's probably good to get an assortment of it. Brussels sprouts is another one. We see it on every menu as a roasted Brussels sprout, but have you ever shaved them and let them soak in some lemon juice um, or vinegar, uh, garlic, and just let it sit and marinate in that overnight to just partly cook, but not really? It's super crunchy, and it's a great additive to just a bed of lettuce and some shrimp, chicken, um, is usually what I enjoy it with, but you might enjoy it with some beef as a salad. Like it's delicious. It becomes your dressing and a vegetable all at the same time. Um, it's kind of like a different version of a coleslaw, but it needs to sit a little bit longer in the acid to break down than maybe um, cab regular cabbage. Sauerkraut is another great benefit. So there's lots of ways to incorporate these leafy greens. So start thinking outside the box. Even when you make a traditional salad, maybe you take salads for lunch every day to work, think outside the box of just basic lettuce. Get in some of these other forms of leafy greens to broaden the phytonutrients, to broaden the minerals and vitamins that you're getting. And it also helps diversify your gut when we're eating a multitude and a variety of foods, and especially of vegetables. Based on all the current research, there really is something about incorporating a daily dose of leafy greens, either by salad or by cooking it on your plate. But start, I challenge you friends, to start adding in leafy greens daily and get creative. Try a variety of them. Things you say you didn't like when you were younger, you might actually like now. So try a bunch of different ones. Go to the store, buy a handful here and there, and figure out which way you can start adding in this daily dose of goodness. 
On that note, friends, I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and it provided value that you can take into your own health journey. I would be incredibly grateful if you could help spread the word. Share the podcast with others that will find the information as helpful as you did. It's through your support that I continue to grow and bring you more amazing content. If you have a spare moment, I would truly appreciate it if you could leave a review. Your feedback means the world to me and it also helps others discover my show. I read every review and take your suggestions to heart, so please don't hesitate to let me know what you think. Remember, you can stay connected with me by following me on Instagram or visiting the website at holistichealthmadesimple.com. I love hearing from our listeners, so feel free to reach out and share your thoughts, ideas, and even suggestions for future episodes. Once again, thank you for being part of my community. Together, let's keep spreading the knowledge, inspiration, and great conversations. Until next time, have a blessed day.